Hey there. So it, is, it, uh, it appears Go live for only me. All right, yeah, I gotta say, so I have a thought I wanna express here. Um, uh, Sabrina, two, two, two. Okay, this is to everyone in the Trump, President Trump administration. Um, okay, if you are in the Trump administration, you all need to look into your hearts and ask yourself, what the heck are you doing working with Donald Trump? If you haven't noticed, we're in the middle of a pandemic where hundreds of thousands of people are dying in the US. 140,000 people have died and we might just double that because we're not, we're not on the downward slope of this thing. So what are you personally doing about it? If you work in the executive branch of the US government, what are you doing to help save lives I mean, would you be doing this if you were, um, if we were under attack from a foreign nation and 100,000 Americans were killed, if aliens invaded and 140,000 U.S. citizens were killed, would you just sit there and continue to go along with whatever ridiculous strategy plan Donald Trump has to get himself reelected? Plan apparently involves ignoring the pandemic and just letting hundreds of thousands of people die. I mean, I'm sure he has a reason for this. I'm sure he has a strategy. There's a method to his madness, but you don't have to be a part of that madness. Um, if you work in Trump's administration, you can speak truth to power and say, hey, President Trump, I know you got something going here to try to get yourself, you know, to stay in office forever for six terms probably until you die. I'm sure you wanna be president for life, but you know, when a pandemic hits, the strategy might be to consider paying attention to the experts and the scientists. And instead of, instead of engaging in magical thinking, and then maybe he will explain to you that he's not engaging in magical thinking. He's engaging in magical speaking. He speaks things that are untrue, not because he thinks it will change the world and magically make it that way. He speaks things that are untrue because it benefits him in some way. And who cares if it hurts the life and death of people? Those are other people. Donald Trump speaks magical speaking to benefit him. Why would you go along with that? Whoever, every one of you, Chad Wolf, Secretary of, Home, of Defense, Secretary of uh, Homeland Security. You know, why are you going along with this? Why is anyone in the administration going along with Trump's plan? Unless you agree with the overall plan of win and become dictator for life and maybe lead a secession movement um, after the election. I mean, Yeah. So, I mean, why didn't Trump name Bill Gates the czar of the pandemic, the pandemic czar, instead of Mike Pence? Why did he name a toady? Why did he name someone that would just follow him blindly and not someone that actually had integrity like Dr. Fauci and who would, or Bill Gates, someone who would literally look at the pandemic as a problem to solve and then try to solve it and refuse to do stupid, uh, ignorant things. Um, about the pandemic. Why would Trump put someone that will just obey him and follow him absolutely blindly rather than someone that has integrity? Why? Because he knew he might decide to just ignore the pandemic and he needed someone that would go with that plan and just be a weak leader and just deny, say, the reason the test results positives are going up is because we're testing more. So anyways, um, yeah. So maybe uh, there is an actual plan, a st stupid, ridiculous plan that you're all going along with. And maybe some of you need to start, start, you know, breaking with that plan and saying, you know, human life is more important than political power that Trump is going along with. And maybe stop helping him gain political power. And instead, you could start having some integrity because who knows, maybe there's a God and it matters if you just, you know, mindlessly let people die in search of power. 
All right. Well, I just said, I just said what I thought. I think he doesn't care about human life and he's uh, just letting this pandemic go crazy because uh, he, you know, it doesn't serve him. And he has a plan. I think he plans to lose the election. Um, he doesn't care if he loses the election. And then, <laughs> this, is, this is my theory, Trump plans to lose the election, but to have, hey, in the UK there, um, lose the election and then uh, just say it was rigged and then see what happens and refuse to secede. And maybe Texas and maybe he'll start a nationwide secession movement. If he, 26%, of people of Trump supporters in Texas in 2016 supported secession if Hillary Clinton won. That won. That's 26 percent. Oh no, no, it was 46 percent of Trump supporters. It was like 26 percent um, of uh, Texans supported it. But if Trump loses and says, "Let's," um, and he says, "I support the seceding." The Texas, you need to research the Texas secession movement. It is a legit thing. It's getting stronger in Texas. I mean, there's a California secession movement. They both have connections. They have Cal Exit has an uh, embassy um, in Russia, and uh, the Texas secession movement is partnering with Ukrainian separatists. Um, this is not like uh, original news. This is a readily available mainstream information. And apparently, Trump is pro secession. If you, no one's ever asked him other than the British, and uh, Trump was not negative. He just said Texas loved him, and uh, they would basically, basically implying they would go with him. So anyways, but it's just, you know, that's one thing. It's like, okay, fine, a secession movement is fine, but the pandemic behavior is uh, completely irresponsible and catastrophically costing lives.